Hello viewers, my name is Zaki Ozaki Adeo, the pastor in charge of MCCSW, World of Faith, Chapel, Abuja, Nigeria. Welcome to World in Season, the program designed for your life transformation. Remember the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 2, 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 2, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reproof, rebook, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Today's topic is the power in the name of Jesus, part two. The power in the name of Jesus, part two. Today we are going to be looking at the name, that name of Jesus. That name of Jesus. A name is a word or a combination of words. A name is a word or a combination of words by which a person, a place, or things, or any object is designated, or is called, or is known. A name is a term used for identification. People know you by the name you be. I remember the Bible said that God has given him a name that's above every other name. Philippians 2, 9, 10, 11. He said that at the name of Jesus, every name shall bow. God gave him a name that is above every other name. Now the question is, what is in a name? What makes name so essential for people? I'm going to be taking, telling you some things that make name so important. Number one, name describes your origin. Your name describes where you come from. Your name will make people to know where you are from. Where you are from, you are from Nigeria, or you are from Germany, or you are from those states, or you are from Abuja, or you are from Lagos State, or you are from River State. Your name will make people to know where you come from. If a man tells you that his name is Pharaoh, you already know that he comes from Egypt. Or he has a link with them in Egypt. You will know where he come from. If a man tells you that his name is Okeshuku, it will likely come from the eastern part of Nigeria. So the name describes his origin. If a man tells you that his name is Jesus, you'll be thinking that his name is from Israel or is a Christian who has something to do with that name. So the name describes his origin. Number two, your name can draw people close to you. Your name can draw people close to you. Now, because the name Solomon, Solomon is synonymous with wisdom, the name Solomon is synonymous with wisdom and wealth, many people came to Judah to know the person behind the name. They have heard the name Solomon, 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 and they know that that name has wisdom and wealth. Many people came to Judah to come and know who is the person behind, behind the name. In First King chapter 10, First King chapter 10, verse 1, First King chapter 10, verse 1, and then verse 4 and 6. First King chapter 10, verse 1. And when the king, the queen of Sheba, and when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon, concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard question. Verse 4. And when the queen of Sheba has seen all Solomon's wisdom and the house that he had built and the meat of his table and the sitting of his servant and the attendance of his ministers and the apparel and his cup bearer and in ascent by which he went up unto the house of the Lord. There was no more spirit in her. Verse 6. And she said to the king, it was a true report that I had in my own land of thy act and of thy wisdom. The queen heard about the name Solomon with the wisdom and the word. The king, the queen said, let me go and know the person behind the name. The name draw a queen to Solomon. A name can draw people close to you. Your name can draw people close to you. If you look at Zechariah chapter 8 verse 23, Zechariah chapter 8 verse 23, the Bible says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, in those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold of all language of the nation, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, we will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Imagine, your name can draw people close to you. He said that a time is coming that people will just know that, oh, you are a Jew, you are from Jew, you are a Jew, we want to follow you. He said, ten women will take hold of one, one Jew and say, we don't want to follow you. You want to be your wives because of the name they bear. So your name can draw people close to so you. Imagine if a man called himself Shinarambu or his name is Osama Bin Laden. 
People will not think twice before they will run away from him. So, your name can draw people close to you, and your name can make people to be far away from you. Number three, what is in the name? The name describes event in your past. Your name describes event in your past. You know, in the part of Nigeria where I come from, if a person is named Abidemi, it means that when they gave back to him, his father was no was nowhere to be found. If your name is Abidemi, it means that when they were giving back to you, your father was not in the house. It, it probably has traveled somewhere. So their name alone describes the event that happened to that person in his past when they gave her, when they gave her to him. Now, do you know that because Moses was found inside the water, that was why they named him Moses. So in Israel, when they call him Moses, people already know that ah, this person Moses, it was because they gave back to him inside water. He was found inside water. So your name describes the event in your past. In Exodus 2.10, Exodus 2.10, And the child grew, and she brought him unto Pharaoh's daughter. And he became a son, and she called his name Moses. And she said, Because I drew him out of the water. They call him Moses, because I drew him out of the water. So your name can describe the event in your life. The name you bear can describe event. People can say, ah, he's bearing this name. Okay, it is because of this and this and this. In, in, in Africa country, there are some people they call some name because they said they, they die. They die frequently. So they will call some people Okuta. They will call them stone so that he won't die again. So when you hear that name, you know, ah, this person, they will say it's Ogbanje. He had died so many times. So they decided to give him a name that will not make him to go back. So name can describe event that happened in your past. Number four, what is in the name? Number four, the name tells who you are. Your name tells who you are. It is your name that will describe the kind of person you are. Your name tells who you are. Now, if a man says his name is Paul, you can tell that he's a Christian. You can say that this person, definitely, he's a Christian. If a man says his name is Muhammad, without telling you his religion, people will say, this person is a Muslim. This person is a Muslim. So, your name the Bible said that good name gives you your self-image. Good name gives us positive self-image. In Proverbs 22, verse 1. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 1. The Bible says, a good name is rather to be chosen than great wishes. It's better to have a good name because your name will tell who you are. There are some people giving you a job. Your name alone will make them to give you a job. I have seen some mean laws that will not allow their... their they are, they are son to marry someone just because of the name is, is bearing. So your name can tell who you are. Your name can tell who you are. I remember the lady took a guy to, to her parent and the parent asked, what's your name? I think they said his name is, uh, uh, one, you know, one Rasta, Rasta something. And the parent said, ah, are you definitely, you will be, you will be smoking in their hands. By that name. By the name. And they said, like, like, we can't allow you to marry our daughter. The name already tells who he is. The name already tells who he is. Names identify our allegiance, either to Jesus or to other gods. Your name. That's why when you see some people that are pastors and they are still calling themselves Eshun, Eshun Bamila, he said, Well, that's the name my parents give me. And you are still behind that. I don't subscribe to that. Because you are pushing against the devil. And they say, what is your name? You say, devil saved me. How do you justify the two? You preach every day. You say to her, to devil. Devil will do this. This will happen to devil. I am free from the hands of the devil. And they say, what is your name? You say, devil, devil saved me. You say, that's the name your, your parents gave you. No. Your name already tells who you are. Your name tells who you are. People will question your allegiance to Jesus if your name is still contrary to what you preach. For example, Jacob means deceiver. But God changed the name from being a deceiver to father of many nations to Israel. So that he can fulfill his purpose. God changed his name. God changed his name. So that he can fulfill his purpose. So your name is so important. We are talking about the power in the name of Jesus. For their, their name to work for you, you must know the Jesus. You must know him for his name to work for you. How do you know him? You must accept him as your Lord and Savior. If you do not belong to him, 
If you call his name from now to tomorrow, it can work. The name will not work for you. The Bible says that even the devil knows the name and tremble. Knowing the name is not enough. You must belong to the name. And how do you belong to the name? You must accept him as your Lord and Savior. And so, this afternoon, if you want to belong to him, so that the name can work for you, I want you to say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. I believe that you came and you died for me. And on the third day, you rose again from the dead. Come into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior. Wash me thoroughly from all my sin. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. If you say that prayer, you are born again. If you have said that prayer, please, you can communicate to us with the number that is being displayed on the screen and the address that is being displayed on the screen. I decree by the authority in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus on today will begin to work for you. In the name of Jesus, when you call the name, the name will work for you. He said that all powers in heaven and earth has beginning unto me. He said, whatsoever you bind on earth, I'll be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on earth, I'll be losing in heaven. I decree from today, everything you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. In the name of Jesus. Whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The name of Jesus will work for you. In the name of Jesus, you shall be successful as we call the name of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and all the Son, and all the Holy Spirit. Jesus, mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Thank you for joining us once again this week. Join on next week. God bless you. Thank you.